Morning Design 2. Over the next two weeks, we're going to be continuing to work on our collage manipulations inspired by an artist named Lola Dupree. So last week, I uh, asked you to come up with a photo, a photo that you've taken. And then again, if you needed me to print it, you were to email it to me before yesterday. Uh, there were some of you that did that. And then I went ahead and printed all those off, created a packet of materials for you that's in the office to pick up. And then again, if you didn't send me the photo, my assumption was that you were going to do all this at home on your own. So hopefully everybody's got their photos uh, taken and printed. You're ready to go. Um, again, this is going to be inspired by an artist named Lola Dupree. And basically what you do is you start off by taking the photo you've taken. You print it off 10 to maybe 15 times. And then you begin cutting up those images in a manipulation way. And then gluing them back down to your panel, the surface that you're working on. Again, it could be architectural. could be you know a portrait could be um, in color or black and white and it could be even an animal. Uh, these are a ton of fun and all kinds of possibilities. Uh, these are really fun where they're actually using you know portraits and kind of stretching them out into kind of a surreal way. And if you get up close here you can see all the tiny little pieces of cutout and it starts to make sense how you need multiple images of the same or multiple copies of the same image so that you can begin to collage and kind of stretch things and, and manipulate things. So taking your own photo, again, inspired by Lola Dupree, the artist that we're looking at, one of her uh, different techniques, or you know, kind of a blend of any of those, and then utilizing space and balance, and then use of that second medium. So again, this is the rubric for this that I went over last week. Um, things, to, things to think about. Um, as far as that collage technique, you can use a lot of different materials to glue it down. I think Mod Podge, Mod Podge works uh, about as well as anything or a gel medium. And again, if you were somebody who sent in the photo uh, you know, yesterday or before, I've printed those off and then given you a little container of Mod Podge to pick up in the office. That's kind of what we went over there last, last week. So again, editing. I'm not going to go over this again, but again, this is in that other video. Now these are examples of student works from years past in Design 2. Again, manipulating those photos using that second medium. Uh, most of these artists used paint for their second medium. This artist actually used different um, collage like magazine cutouts. This artist used charcoal and construction paper. Collage and paint. Collage and paint. Uh, collage and paint again. And so I'm going to go ahead and kind of wrap this up today, uh, try to keep this short. This is an example of myself working on this assignment. And so what I did was I decided to do a self-portrait, printed out my head several times, and then I attached my head to um, the torso of like my son when he was about four years old. And so you can see as I went through this, lots of, lots of uh, you know, pieces of collage cut out that I was doing then I would come in with my like gel medium or my Mod Podge lay down an area and then put my collage over the top of it with a brush so kind of sandwich the paper in between the material and build that up and you can kind of see where I I played around with the eye size like these were tiny little eyes I decided to kind of go a little bit bigger in the end and then I did mine again on a wood panel and I decided to kind of uh, use paint as a second medium and did kind of a design aspect in the background. So again I used paint and collage as I did these and I wanted my hand to be holding something and I debated you know if I wanted to be holding like a mask that kind of echoed you know what I actually look like in the picture. At one point I was thinking about using like a, a toy truck but in the very end I decided to turn it into a paintbrush and that's kind of what I painted in. You can see where I've used paint on different areas over the top of my collage, you know, real thin layers, kind of hand painted some of the elements on like the tie on the guy. And then I, uh, you know, did some other kind of mixed media elements as, as well. And then at the very end, I came in and uh, tried to make it look like I have a, a sleeve, even though I do not have a sleeve as far as a tattoo. So anyways, that's kind of a quick example of just one of a million different directions you could go with this. But a lot of fun, and uh, look forward to what you guys come up with. I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna be working on these for the next two weeks. 
So you're going to have two weeks to complete this. So we'll have today, uh, rolling this out on Wednesday the 21st, you'll have Wednesday the 28th, and then looking at these being wrapped up and complete on or by November 4th, and on November 4th we'll roll out our new instructions. So let me know if you have any questions. If you're someone who uh, needs me to print your photos and you don't have a printer at home and for whatever reason um, you missed that or you didn't get those into me, I, I'm more than happy to still make that work and just email me directly and then I can print those off and get your packet ready in the front office so you can pick it up as soon as you can. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun. I think you all are going to enjoy this and I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Good luck and have a great week.